Hello everybody and welcome back to these short Mac trainings. Today we're going to talk a little bit about widgets and dashboard. Actually more specifically moving widgets out of the dashboard and onto the desktop. Right? So just press F6, click on it and drag it and drop it on the desktop. Drag it, drop it on the desktop. Hey, there you go. Now you have them on the desktop readily over here offering information or ready to use. How did I do that? Normally, it's not possible. Normally, the widgets are chained to the dashboard, and the dashboard is chained to the system as a workspace, so you can actually not move things in and out of there. All right, so we're going to move these back right now. I'm going to put them back. There we go. There we go. Okay. How do you move things in and out? It's actually very simple. Uh, first, you need to unchain your dashboard from system preferences. Mission control, make sure this option is unchecked. So uncheck show dashboard as a space. This way you're going to unchain your dashboard from the system. Secondly, you need to start terminal and issue a write defaults command. Remember we talked about these commands a while back. Uh, rewriting the defaults for specific applications. It's going to become that app or that dashboard for this instance. Uh, and we're going to put the dashboard in dev mode, right? Dev mode, yes. Press enter, the dashboard is going to go in development mode. I'm not going to do it because I already have it set it up this way. After you put the dashboard in development mode, actually you set up the dashboard to start in development mode next time, right? So now you need to kill all dashboard, right? The dashboard enter, the dashboard will restart and it's going to be in development mode so you can actually move things in and out of the dashboard. Now Sometimes when you issue this command, kill all in the name of the application, you might get a prompt like there are no matching processes for this user. If that happens, that most than likely means that you don't have enough permissions or that specific application is running under the system account. That means that uh, to restart the dashboard in our case, you're going to have to log off and log back in for that to, to actually happen. Right. So everything is set up now. Uh, now you just press the key to show the dashboard, drag the item and drag it, drag it on the desktop. Okay, so everything everything is fine. Uh, the dashboard to show and hide the dashboard key you're gonna find in keyboard mission control, right? For me, it's F6, for example. Uh, the default is F12, but for my Macintosh. F12 is the sound as well, which means I need to press Fn F12 to actually show and hide the dashboard, which is actually a little bit annoying, so I change it to F6, right? So this is how you can actually move widgets on the desktop and actually use them and have them there readily available. You can, besides the widgets you have available over here, you can add some more from your Macintosh or even more of them from more widgets which is going to open the apple.com Apple website and as you can see you have a bunch of them over here and all of them are free so uh, you can browse through them and use a couple of them if you, uh, if you like them. Thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe if you like the videos and uh, don't forget to check out our blog watermark the bottom of the video. Thank you.